Welcome back to What's Now, a favorite reality series is returning. It's called X on the Beach. And right now I have two of the stars of that series, David and Aris, joining us right here on What's Now. David, tell me more about this all new season. Well, I, I've watched every season of X on the Beach, obviously not this one, but what I can confidently say is that in a lot of ways, format wise, you know, how relationships are presented and, and are carried out. This season is completely different from the other ones. We're definitely not in the ice cold. We're definitely not like uh, the last season, but I, I can't say that much. It, there's definitely a lot of twists and turns that you wouldn't expect. So you're going to have to stay tuned on Thursdays. Arise, what are you looking forward to about this new season? What are you most excited about? Uh, God, what am I excited about? <laughs> I think of seeing yourself as you actually are on TV, like when you're being filmed 24 seven, mic's 24 seven, you hear yourself um, unedited through Instagram. Uh, I think I'm looking forward to getting to know myself even further. <laughs> That's what I'm looking forward to. David, as the former Mr. California and Mr. International U.S. title holder, how does that experience play into some of the things that are happening this season on the beach? Um, you know, you know, with a with a sports background, I've definitely always felt like you know I have expectations to live, live up to. You know, teammates to teammates and in a family and and a fan base to you know, kind of like li live up to expectations and, and meet certain standards. So I was definitely going in, I knew with, with a lot of eyes watching me, but this is really the first time with that being said that there, I, I know who's on my back and who's watching that I was really, truly able to be myself. So I know that after this experience, you know, people who really do care for the real me, not the David or the Mr. California, who they thought they knew or who I presented you know, if, if those people stick with me, then those people actually truly like me for who I am. Arise, what made you decide to participate in this reality show? And did you have any reservations about it? So you don't really know what show you're going on until about the day before that you get there. And so I don't know if I'd have signed up to have all of my exes show up on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> like maybe one or two or something, you know, I don't, I think a lot of people got very surprised, um, by the result, but, um, you know, it's just, I think looking for love is because that was the initial intention of where you think you're going. I think looking for love is complicated. And I think a lot of us will try it by any means necessary. David, what about you? How did you feel about participating and being a part of this very exciting, dramatic show? You know, as, as much as I was looking forward to having a vacation where I could be free and single and no strings attached and no one from my past who knows, you know, the, the deep, dark, dirty little secrets. I always want to see the silver lining in things. So in a lot of ways, you know, my ex, who did show up. I was, I was happy to see her in some ways because I knew it would be you know, my ex quite literally chased me across the world to corner me to have a conversation that we could have had two years ago. But so I knew I was going to grow from it. I was hoping, you know, that I wouldn't burn too many bridges when I was there. I'm not going to give away too much, but I wasn't the happiest, but I also knew that it'd be good for me because I'm still only 24 years old. I need to grow up in a lot of ways. As much as I might look physically like a grown man, like emotionally, I'm still working my way to be there. Aris, looking back on this season, and of course, without spoiling anything, what surprised you, whether it was good or bad, what really caught you by surprise this season? Um, I think what surprised me the most were people's attitudes in general, because you don't, you don't, when you're in a house full of different personalities, you don't know what's going to set certain people off. And so something that seems like nothing to you could be a big deal to like four other people and then they will completely explode that situation. And so um, then you all get reactive because you can't get out of it. You all live in this house together. And so it's like, well, this format is unexpected and I did not know what I got myself into. <laughs> so it's, uh, it should be fun to watch. <laughs> and David, you get my last question. Anything else that we need to know heading into watching this new season? 
honestly, you, you just got to stay tuned and, and stay involved, really keep up, you know, watching this show, watching it on streaming, following them on social media, following us on social media. There are a lot of people who show up acting or seeming one way or looking for one thing and end up on the completely opposite side of the boat. No pun intended. You'll see what I mean. But you really just have to stay, stay tuned and stay involved. You know, like myself, I'm used to being kind of like, yeah, I don't want to do my own homework, but kind of more so of like, oh, everyone's favorite. Or like, at least I get along with everyone. And that becomes very much so not the case. So you're going to have to stay tuned and stay involved. Well, thank you so much, David and Arise, for joining us today on What's Now. X on the Beach returns to MTV on March 31st. So make sure you tune in. You don't want to miss a single thing. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. We'll be back with more right after this.